Supreme Fall Winter 2019. It's a great day, people. It's a great day. You know what day it is? Supreme Fall Winter. Wait, no, it's not. That's not the day. Actually, it, the, the day is is Monday, August 19th. Don't even say anything about me drinking Monster. This stuff's really good. I really normally hate Monster. I normally drink Full Throttle, but that's actually really delicious. All right, now that the Invisalign is out, the pubic hair is shaved. It is time. Well. It's actually still not time. I need to make a quick stop. Yo, what's up, man? Can I get a uh, ice white chocolate? Did you check out the new Supreme season? Supreme Fall Winter 2019? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, it's not. You gotta check it out. All right, yeah, that's it. <laughs> they probably think that I'm weird for filming. They don't know I'm rich, as you can see from the Hyundai. <laughs> Ball in. I already know some of you guys are gonna be like, why do you have a straw in a sippy lid? Because I like drinking out of the straws. Y'all do not care about the environment. Stop DMing me about using straws when I know y'all damn well don't care about it. Or when you guys comment on people's pictures, like, did you step on a flower? Bro, y'all never cared about that until you guys saw a news article. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then I'm gonna go back to the crib and review this delicious Supreme Fall Winter 2019 season. Guys, I don't have any more energy drinks. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but today is the day. You know what day it is, Chucky? It's the best day of the year, motherfucker. Fall Winter 2019. So true, so true, even though fall winter 2019 is not a day. As you guys know, this morning at about 3.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Supreme released the fall winter 2019 whole lookbook slash what the whole lookbook slash range whatever you want to call it it's an entire season preview they dropped the lookbook and the season preview on the exact same date for some reason even though most brands will usually do like a lookbook and then drop like every single piece but supreme is not most brands so we are going to look at some of the lookbook items that sounds weird go over these pieces and then we'll go over some of the pieces that i like don't like overall i'm gonna say it this season is insane. I asked you guys on Instagram, and I think right now it's like 70% think this season is fire, 30% think this season is garbage, 30% of you guys are going to hell. I saw someone say that they didn't do enough accessories, and I'm like, bro, I don't care what anyone says, they gave you a burner phone. By far one of the best accessories to ever release from Supreme. I honestly, they could have just dropped this and the entire season would have been fire. If they would have just done the fall winter 2019 season if i would have clicked it and just saw the burner phone i would have been happy so if anyone says oh this season's trash or this week's trash you can just politely comment and say supreme gave you a burner phone and you have the audacity to say this is trash how dare you disrespect fall winter 2019 i think the season definitely lives up to the hype i did post a picture on instagram of me in my room asking if you guys were ready and then i also asked you guys i said if someone can guess all the Supreme items in the photo, I would send them a free Supreme piece, which means I have to send Duva a free Supreme piece. None of you guys got it, by the way, because a lot of you guys missed the deck that was just peeking through behind the box logo hoodie. You guys gotta really pay attention to all the vidjas if you wanna get that shit. First of all, we got this picture right here. This fine, young, artistic gentleman is wearing a puffer coat with some kind of crew neck that looks to be created by a third grader. Not my favorite fit. Now, this picture right here, I do not care for this trench coat, but this, I think it's like a uh, some kind of fancy fabric. This little sweater that he's wearing is so f***ing fire. Now you have him in the exact same pose, literally did not move, wearing a leopard Gore-Tex. I like this Gore-Tex. I like the pant combo. I'm not the biggest fan of this pattern. I do think that some people will pull this off. I do not know what the resale will be, but I definitely know the retail on this piece will be a little bit more expensive. I'll talk more about this piece in a moment. The Ganesh fur coat. You already know I'm wearing this, baby. This is definitely one of the better fur coats. In fact, uh, it's uh, one of the pieces that Duva likes a lot. I don't care a whole lot because I know this retail is on this can be like four to five hundred dollars. And keeping on with those expensive ass price tags, we have the leather jacket right here. One of the only leather jackets I've ever liked from Supreme. Now this shit is a banger. Being from the Pacific Northwest, if you guys have ever been to Washington State, you guys know there's a lot of native culture out here. Shout out to my brother from War Pony who hooked me up with the fireworks this season. But uh, yeah, man. There's a huge native population out here. There's full reservations and tons of cool places to take some photos with this piece. So I definitely plan on getting some super sick pictorials of this piece on some kind of reservation, maybe with one of the Indian homies, maybe blowing some shit up. Who the f knows, but I'll be doing something along those lines, something crazy, something outlandish, something absolutely absurd and ridiculous on my Instagram. So make sure you go follow me. That's at the star. That's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. And while you are following Instagrams, make sure you follow my personal resale pays. Pays? Pays? I think my brain is thinking Paisley because up, oh, some of the pieces we have coming up are so crazy. Make sure you follow my resale page, Robitussin Poppy. I'm actually currently running a raffle for a Supreme North Face orange 
Nupsy. If you guys are interested in entering those or getting a couple of my older pieces that I have worn a couple times for the deal, for the steal, like for example, I posted the fuck the present tee for $100 shit, my boy. I think it was HH Postman who took that dub home. One reason I really wanted to go over this lookbook before going over the actual pieces was because you have this photo right here, which shows the Supreme Team varsity jacket. I think this is a super sick piece. I will not really worry about copying this piece, I don't think, just because I do not like the leather sleeves. One of my complaints was that I wish the spell out was bigger across the back and they got rid of the team and just put Supreme. That being said, when I see it, I actually kind of like the size, so I'm actually not complaining anymore. Like I said earlier, the Paisley Fire, these freaking fleeces, we just need to get to the lookbook pieces because this piece right here is oh so fucking sexy. Oh, one more thing before we get to the lookbook pieces. Um, this is by far the best style, best look of the lookbook. I love the outfit. I don't really care about any of the pieces he's wearing, but God, he looks like a player. Sanchito, you dirty dog, you. Now, since we touch on the jackets, I want to touch on a couple other jackets that I think will obviously be hitters, and we'll touch on some pieces that I think are duds that I'm really disappointed in. So when it comes to branding this season, Supreme killed it. When it comes to resale, I think there's gonna be a lot of pieces, like for example, this jacket right here, you have this big spell out across the top. I'm pretty sure all these letters are actually sewn in, so that's super sick. It kind of reminds me of like the sideline hoodie, so this is like a good piece that goes with that style of Supreme wearer. This is not something I would keep for the personal collection, it's just not really me. They are dropping some pantalones with those as well, so they will have the matching pant combo, so that way all of the hype beast tracksuit wearing motherfuckers will be able to get their fit off with this. Another thing that I want to show from the jackets is the back of the Ganesh Fofer. You do have a little bit of branding. This is one of those pieces that I feel like is not overly branded. It's done really well I love the all-over print I think the colors are really dope it's not tacky and just I think they killed it I think they did a really really good job with this jacket then you have this quilted paisley jacket why do I feel like my hair looks like dog shit right now I really want to curl my hair anyways quilted paisley jacket we have this big spell out on the back I love that yellow one because the spell out is a little bit less noticeable it's kind of tonal it matches the color of the jacket the spell out in 3b parka I love this jacket I like these military style parkas I got the tape scene one last season and I kind of regret it because I think this one shits on that jacket. You have the red spell out going down this real tree camo. I think that this is just such a sick piece. That being said, it is a little bit longer. So for short midgets like myself, if you guys don't know, I'm actually only three foot six, but uh, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit elongated. So I don't know. I just feel like longer jackets make me look shorter than I actually am. Woo, gang bangers rejoice. Look at this beautiful thing. I'm banging C's all motherfucking winter. And no, I'm not talking about Crip. I'm talking about Creme de la Creme, baby. Oh, man, this thing is beautiful. You guys know I love Paisley. Almost anything Paisley, I'm rocking with it. The Paisley fleece goes so crazy. These bad boys are reversible as well. So if you are in a rival gang and you want to infiltrate some other gang, you know what I'm saying, you can reverse it. And then last minute, let them know, like, what's good? I'm really from this hood over here. This pinstripe panel parka is one of the pieces that I feel like they messed up on. I'm really upset about this. This Supreme logo on the back is a flip on the Apex logo. I really like when they usually do these flips because they make a vintage style piece. And this is no different. They're trying to make a vintage style piece, but this shit just looks so dumb. I hate the, like, the vertical pinstriping. Like, it's just... It's weird. And then the center logo on the back, it looks like Superman, but with a tramp stamp. Now, moving on, you have these eight ball rayon tees. Uh, I was talking to Duva and she did not like the, the rayons this season. And I'm like, you are sleeping. First of all, you have this beautiful eight ball John right here. This thing is so sexy. You have this one as well, which I'm not as much of a fan on, even though you can clearly see that there are some like gang sign statues in the background. I don't really know what's going on. But how did she hate on the eyes rayon? You got eyes in the back of your head. I got eyes on my shoulder, my sleeve, my fucking titty, my my abdomen region, my tramp stamp locations, like come on, I'm looking all over the place. I'm definitely gonna catch a red eye flight with this red eye ray on. This thing is looking oh so sexy. I'm not the biggest fan of the white, but I do like that pissed yellow color and the black one. I think it looks oh so beautiful and definitely one that I will plan on acquiring. I even kind of like this like button up where it looks like Shorty's having her period or something. I don't know what's really going on. Maybe it's a miscarriage. I have no idea what this art is or what this means. I do wish the actual button up wasn't white and it was more of like an off-white or creme de la creme colorway. I think the red would pop on that so well. But that being said, I may still have to cop because I think this piece is just oh so freaking crazy. And I do not know, is, it, is that like, is she, 
I don't know if she's like on her period or maybe she's rolling in a fire. I don't know what's going on here, but regardless, this piece is fucking sick. Here you have that sweater that I was talking about earlier that I really like. This is mohair. I need less hair, but regardless, this piece is fucking sick and I do plan on acquiring it. That was a really stupid fucking joke. I'm not normally a fan of velour, but this velour little paisley thing going on right here, oh so player, definitely need to cop this. And it's got the classic logo, so you already know I'm loving it like McDonald's. The Supreme is love sweater. This is trash. I'm not a big fan of it. I do like the denim jacket, but I'll probably not cop any of it because I just just don't really give up. This tribal camo pullover, to be honest, from afar, it looks like some kind of like sperm cells splattered across a knitted sweater, and I'm just not really a big fan of it. And then the brown one kind of looks like just like trails of like dookie stains. Now this burgundy floral, man, they stay fucking up the old man fits. I can see my man JD styling his grandpa in this. This piece is so freaking fire. If my grandfather came back from the grave, he would definitely rock with this. Normally the old man shit they do is super weak to me, but this piece is so freaking delicious. Vertical floral patterations going down. Damn, I just know for a fact if my grandfather was wearing this back in the day, my grandma would have been all over him. I mean, she was all over him, hence why you know they gave birth to my mother who then gave birth to me. But I'm just saying like, you know, she, my, my mom probably would have had more brothers and sisters if my grandfather was swagged out in this piece. There's no grandmother that's not gonna pop that pussy for the grandfather wearing this piece. That's just facts. The baseball jerseys I fuck with heavy. However, I do not wear baseball jerseys. I love the Supreme love hate one. I do wish they would have done a rayon button up or something because the Supreme has this big ass gap. So if I'm reading it, I'm gonna read it like sup reem and then the love hate, I'm gonna be like love Hey, it's like so far apart. It looks kind of weird. I love the font. I love the arc to the font. I think this is a super sick piece. However, that being said, ah, it's just a baseball jersey. You also have the floral velour baseball jersey, which is super sick. I'm probably not going to cop, even though I do love the arc logo. I'm one of the only six people on the entire planet that like the arc logo. I don't know why everyone hates on it. I think it's fucking fire. That being said, I'll probably not cop the baseball jersey, but I will probably acquire the shorts that match. There are a lot of fire pieces when it comes to the hoodies. The hoodies, they absolutely killed it. This eight ball all over print hoodie is so freaking gorgeous. I love this piece. I don't know if I'll get it just because I'm already probably going to acquire the rayon. So there's no real point in me acquiring the hoodie. There are quite a few pieces that say 1-800-SUPREME. All of them are trash, not a single good one that I can think of. If you disagree, please let me know on Instagram. But the box logo this season, oh my, did someone just message me? Oh, I got a missed call. Fuck them. This is more important. The box logo is so freaking beautiful. The Camron, I saw someone say they were disappointed. I was like, I literally was like, bro, are you fucking smoking crack rocks? Supreme gave you a burner phone and you're gonna be disappointed in the embroidered bandana box logo hoodie? But anytime I have gotten a box logo, I have either purchased it with the intent to sell or I have gotten it for a video. I've been very vocal about how overhyped box logos are. These ones are, in my opinion, are not overhyped. They deserve the hype. They're super sick. I love the graphic. I love what they're doing. I love that they're doing a bandana box logo on a hoodie. And a lot of the colors are clean colors. I'm not a big fan of the brown, but the gray, the pink, the blue, the red, the navy blue, the yellow, the black, like all of them are great colors. Anyways, moving on from that hype beast ass shit, we have the rhinestone script hoodie. I'm so glad they're dropping this. They did the script logo across a vintage varsity jacket that I really wanted last season. They drop a lot of lazy shit just like this, but they do this every season so of course they're going to this is just their money grab for the kids that you know are just getting into supreme they're gonna go buy this piece because they can't get their hands on anything else and they're just kind of getting into copying so they're just gonna buy everything that says supreme and essentially that's all this is this shit is trash super lazy super weak and yeah it seems like they're kind of getting some like northwest inspiration because like this right here is definitely some like vintage shit that you would see in the Northwest. Like I, I'm probably not gonna buy this, but I do really respect this piece. They also dropped this crew neck, which I think is more fire, which I'll probably acquire for the personal. This piece, I really do like it. It reminds me of like some Washington shit. This looks like Mount Rainier, but like in a crest. And I think that's super sick. The most hooded sweatshirt, a lot of people are complaining that this is kind of a rip from the Chanel sweater or something too similar because they're doing the colored font. But I do think it's a little bit different. That being said, this holds no weight to the Chanel uh, Arc logo hoodie. The, that piece is way sicker. I love the Chanel letters. They drop a bunch of garbage like this, 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 oh my God, why is that spell out printed? That shit looks so trash. Now, Supreme pants have to be next level fire for me to want to acquire them because they all fit like dog shit. Maybe if you're hella buff or maybe like a little bit bigger, you know, a little bit chunkier, maybe they might look a little bit better on you. That being said, I do like the red Supreme outline with the Gore-Tex logo or graphic. They did drop the obviously tape scene parkas. Why are they dropping this fucking dookie slash first grade flame drawing slash 
sperm cell design things on cargo pants. The only pants worth acquiring are these painter pants with the native patterations going throughout them. These are the only pants that I think are really, really sick. Denim skate pants, the fact that regardless of what these look like, the moment I said skate, you should have known these were a fucking pass because these are absolute garbage. That being said, it does have Supreme printed right across your dick. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? You can pick up a shorty like that. Like, <laughs> Shit supreme. So you have a plethora of cool tees. You have the banner tee, the Mary J. Blige tee. I think that one's gonna go crazy. You have the Save the Planet tee, which I don't really think will go crazy, but I kind of fuck with it. You have the new shit tee, which I really wish they would have put the San Francisco store on there. I know it's not open yet, but it is rumored to open this season, so that would have been kind of cool. You have the Queen tee with this pixelated old English. I'm not the biggest fan. I like a lot of the other tees, like the Heaven and Earth tee. Even the Levitate tee is kind of fire. My favorite tee is probably the Smoke. Uh, logo T or whatever it just says supreme, but it's in smoke my least favorite T is this fucking random ass like Supreme dove soap thing they have on I don't know what the fuck this is this shit looks absolutely garbage I'm not a fan of this they put like some supreme masturbating lotion bottle on the fucking front of a T <sighs> And it says super cream. I don't even know but random fact about this season I will say I'm not gonna really go over hats too much, but we need to address this right here this beautiful faux fur Vladimir Putin uh, snap back right here, a buckle buckle top, not snap back because there's not a snap in the back, it's a buckle up top. But anyways, um, yeah, this is actually, a lot of people don't know, but this is actually made for Vladimir Putin. I know you guys might be saying like, bro, you're bullshitting, but I'm serious. Like, look, here's a photo of him right here wearing this exact same piece. Like, why would I make that up? I'm telling you guys, Vladimir fucks with Supreme. Obviously, the only really thing I care about to go over is they are dropping the matching box logo beanies. I don't really like how New Era beanies fit, so I'll definitely not be copying these for my personal. I'll be copying one to resell, hopefully, unless they drop it on the exact same day of the box logo hoodie, then I'll probably take an L, but regardless. And before we get into the best part of the video, the accessories, oh, Hallelujah, these accessories are fire. Before I get into these beautiful, delicious little treats, we need to talk about the afternoon camp cap real quick. I wish they would have used this graphic on some other pieces. Maybe they will in the future. I don't know. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't, but regardless, uh, it's trash without having more pieces to go with it, in my personal opinion. So first, let's talk the bags, right? When we get to the accessories, let's talk about the bags. I know bags are technically not accessories, but they kind of are anyways. Um, I don't like the backpack at all. I don't like these straps. It looks like some BDSM backpack. I'm not really fucking with it. Do think that maybe the tree camo one's kind of cool because the tree camo makes it look more utility. This pink one looks super fucking weird. But hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Okay, anyways, um, this duffel bag, so fucking fire. Probably one of the best duffel bags to ever release from Supreme. I love how it's like this box encasing. I didn't even realize this was a duffel bag. I thought this was a waste bag. Oh, so freaking gorgeous. I'm really curious how big this thing is. Whenever they give you like liters, I don't know what the fuck that means. 26 liters. Okay. Waist bag, same thing. The only one that matters is the tree camo. These shoulder bags look tiny as fuck. I do not know uh, why they're not dropping like actual shoulder bags. Like just look at that zipper. Unless that's like an enlarged zipper, it's just really tiny. Like that's not even a passport holder. I feel like that'll look awkward if I put my AirPods in it. I don't even like, yeah, I got AirPods. I'm balling. In fact, it's so tiny. It looks almost as tiny as the small zip pouch. Like small is even in the name of the next item. So why don't you call it like small shoulder bag, mini shoulder bag or something. I don't know, some weird shit. All right, guys, it's time. It is time to talk about accessories. First of all, the dirt bike. It's cool. It's a Honda dirt bike. I used to drive a Honda before I got into a crazy car accident. Uh, I might make a video about that soon. It's just like one of those pieces that's gonna be worth way too much money. Resale's gonna be too damn high. I'm, I think it's a cool piece. I would like to acquire it, but um, I don't really care. That being said, they're dropping a burner phone. I told you guys, if anyone says this season is trash, remind them that they're dropping a fucking burner phone. Do you see the burner phone? You can now sell drugs and go to jail in style. Shout out Supreme man. Y'all really killed it with this one. I, 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 I give up. This is, this is amazing. This is beautiful. Don't even get me started with the Shepagna glasses, all right? When Shorty comes over and she sees you pour up the Shepagna and the motherfucking uh, glasses, the little Supreme glass, so classy. You don't think, you don't think she's gonna pop that pussy on you? Come on. Look at the Shepagna glasses. You can call yourself Chipogna Poppy. And the five pound weights, Louis Vuitton, we know where you got it from. I saw that post on Hypebeast or Heisnabite, one of those. 
I'm changing my whole workout regimen with this. My whole workout regimen is changed because of this piece right here. I've been trying to do high weights, low reps, never again. All high reps, low weights, five pound weights, as many reps as I can do. I'll probably get like four or five of them in, which is a t shit ton. I mean, I'm f I've been hitting the gym. Y'all been seeing me on Instagram, stop playing. And the voodoo doll. If you typed a hate comment within the first 47 minutes of this video, you better go delete it because the moment I get this voodoo doll in, I am cursing your ass. Fuck a rolly. The only wristwatch I need is the Timex. Then we got the ping pong paddles. You already know we've been with the ping pong shit for a minute. Look at, come on. You guys see. Okay. I... I thought I used this actually. Did, did it only come with one? Okay, I have other ping pong paddles, all right? I just haven't used the vape one yet, but I, I thought I did actually. Did this come with two paddles? You do not want to see me on the ping pong table. I'm like Forrest Gump. I know I'm white. I know there's going to be some Asian kid commenting right now like, I'll fuck you up in ping pong. I promise you, I'm a beast at ping pong. I learned how to play it overseas when I was at war in Afghanistan, just like Forrest Gump in Vietnam. Trust me when I tell you, y'all do not want to see me with this ping pong paddle because once I acquire this, it will be like the fucking Thundercats. I will raise that bitch up and fucking be so empowered on that ping pong table y'all will never score on me. The hanging lights whatever, but this Pyrex measuring glass, like I use a measuring glass on the regular. On the regular! And I've been using this dusty ass, fucking broke ass anchor freaking measuring tape thing to, or measuring glass to water all of my beautiful plants. Not any longer, your boy is gonna cop that Supreme Pyrex. I'm gonna be all up in there watering my plants like a boss. Flick at a flick at a wrist whipping that Pyrex. I wonder how many people that don't know what Pyrex is is gonna be like, oh my god, is this like a Virgil Supreme collab? You have this like tool set. I don't even know how to fucking change a tire or like any, do any plumbing or anything. So I'm not copping this. If you didn't know that that was a recycled joke, then you should follow my Instagram. So that way you can join the lives and then see when I recycle jokes and then comment and be like, you already use that joke, you uncreative hype beast. The vacuum, what? Vacuum insulated bottle? I don't even know what that means. I don't know if it's like a, a Dyson insulation or some shit. I don't know what the fuck vacuum insulated means. All I know is this shit looks like a bullet or maybe a flashlight, maybe a dildo case. I, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a weird water bottle actually now that I think about it, but it's fire. Supreme Pelican cases. I'll probably acquire that useless ass shit. I don't know how big it is though. I don't know how many, it looks pretty small. If you look at the keychain. Um, definitely probably not 26 liters, maybe like half a liter, I don't know. It's probably meant to like hold your phone. You have post-it signature pieces which are a complete waste of money if you get these and do not sell. I don't know who, who's gonna use these. And then we got camo thermals with the red brand. Keep your boy warm when he's camping. Something I did not think I would like that much. I did not think it would be that cool. But one of the coolest pieces dropping are these red socks. These are gonna look so fire, just like a little spark of red in the outfit. Definitely gonna cop these. I don't even like Supreme socks like that. I actually think they're trash. <sighs> Anyways, I need to bid you guys farewell because I've been recording for like 75 minutes right now. So one hour and 15 minutes, it's been way too long. I gotta edit this entire video for you guys, get this uploaded. Hopefully I can cut this down to like 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less, but hopefully you guys liked it. I did not go over every single piece in the lookbook. That being said, if you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications, I will be going over the drops weekly. Hopefully I'm gonna try to at least, worst case scenario, if I do not go over the drop, I'll probably start doing live cops that week as well. If you guys would like to see the weekly previews or the live cops, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, let me know by smashing that like button down below. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on my personal Instagram, my personal Instagram is at the star, that's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E, and my resale page, which is Robitus and Poppy. Both of those will be somewhere on the screen and in the description down below, so make sure you guys go follow those right after you're done subscribing and turning on post notifications and leaving a comment and liking. I just got so much shit for you guys to do, so please go do all of it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top of my heart, and as always, keep it in the top. I got another video coming soon, so peace the fuck out!